In most of the lectures in this course, I've used code light as the IDE, but you don't have to use that. Sometimes some students have said that they've had problems installing code light or they just don't like something about the way it works. So here I want to show you how you can use any editor to write uh, C programs and compile those programs from the system prompt. Here, for example, I'm using the free Komodo Edit editor. It's a multi-language, multi-programming language editor, and I can just load my C source code into it, and it does code coloring and code collapsing and all the essential uh, qualities, all the essential features you'd expect to, to be able to use with a C editor. You can get a copy of this uh, Komodo Edit free editor from the Komodo IDE website. And to compile C source code, well, you just need a C compiler. If you've installed CodeLight or NetBeans or some other IDE already, you may already have the C compiler on your PC or your Mac. But uh, if not on a PC, you can download uh, the MinGW, the minimalist GNU for Windows uh, system, which includes a C compiler on uh, Mac, on OS X. Just download the tools, the extra tools for Xcode. You'll need to install Xcode. And then, as I've shown in a separate lecture in section one of this course, uh, install the additional tools, which you can do either from Xcode itself, or you can go onto the Xcode site and click the additional tools, and you'll need to sign in, and then you can download the command line tools. So, you've got the editor, you've got the C compiler installed, and then you're ready to run your programs. Here I'm on Windows. First of all, I need to find the directory containing my source code. This is from step 10. It's a simple CD collection. Uh, it's a database of my CD uh, albums. And uh, it's got multiple C source files, as you can see here. So I need to open a system prompt in this directory. I show how to do that for both Mac and Windows in section two of this course. So I'm opening the uh, system prompt in that directory. I can see my source files by listing the directory listing there, the C uh, source files there. To compile them, I need to start the compiler. That's called GCC. So if I enter that here, you can see I haven't specified any input files. So it says compilation terminated. That's an error, but it shows me nevertheless that GCC, the compiler, is there and it's trying to do something. So the compiler is installed. I just haven't entered the correct command. So the correct command is GCC dash O for the output. I'll call my output file test. This is going to be the name of my executable file. And now I need to tell it the actual source code files that I want to be compiled. So I just move this window down so I can check here. So I've got C files in the directory, three of them, main.c. So I just put the list here of the files I want to compile, my string .c and cddb. C. So those are all the source code C files to be compiled. So here's the summary of what I'm doing. GCC, that's the name of the compiler. Dash O, following that, I put the output file name, the executable file. I'm going to call it test. Then the list of C files, the source code files, in this directory to be compiled. Main.c, mystring.c, cddb.c. Press enter to run it. Wait to see if it's OK. And when the compiler has finished, it returns me to the system prompt. Let me print a directory of this uh, folder. And you can see it's compiled this new executable file, test.exe. So to run it, I enter its name. And this is a simple uh, CD database. It's a database of my CD album collection. And I can add records. You don't need to know how this works. This is explained in the relevant section in step 10. 
But the point is that I've compiled this program from source code and I can just go back into the uh, code editor when I want to make any changes and keep switching back and forth between the system prompt and the code editor. So doing it this way, I don't need any IDE at all. So if you don't like code light, if you don't like net beans, if you just want the freedom to go between the system prompt and the text editor, that's the way to do it. So don't get stuck in this course because you're having problems with the IDE. There are many, many IDEs and text editors that support the C language. Pick one that you like and just compile from the system prompt. It's so easy to do that. Now, if you're running a Mac, it's pretty much the same process. Once again, I've got Komodo Edit here with my source code in. And if I want to um, open a system prompt, I find where my source code is. And remember, I've shown how to do this in other tutorials. In uh, section two, I show how to open terminal in the Mac. So this time I'm uh, selecting services, new terminal at folder. This opens up a terminal ready for me to uh, compile my programs. So again, I've got these three source code files, uh, cddb.c, main.c, mystring.c. Now I can list the files in this directory to make sure that I'm in the right folder. And yes, there are my source code files. And now let me uh, run them. Uh, let me run the compiler rather, so gcc, same as on Windows, dash o, test will be the name of the output, the executable, and then the uh, files themselves. So I can see main.c, mystring.c, and cddb.c. So those are the files to be compiled. Right, it doesn't like, there's one thing it complains about. The compiler on, on uh, the Mac seems to be a little bit more pernickety than the one that I ran on Windows. This is a warning, so the the uh, uh, file is actually compiled. You can see there's the test file there, it's been compiled. But if I want to uh, take notice of that warning and make any changes, I can go straight back into the editor. So it's told me here that there is, it doesn't like the format specifier, it should be an unsigned long, that's percent %LU, and it tells me that it's in this um, code file here, CD DBC, and it's on line 254. So let me have a look at that, line 254, there it is, and it doesn't like this one here, it should, it prefers it to be, what did it say it wanted it to be? It wants it to be percent %LU, long unsigned, so I go back into the code editor, change, make the change it wants, and save. Go back to the system prompt. I can repeat the last commands by pressing the up arrow, so it saves me the typing to get the command again. Recompile. This time it seems happy. Now, on a Mac, in order to run it, I don't just... Um, let's just check what the files there is. There's the test file. So on a Mac, I don't just put the executable name as I would on a PC. I won't like that. It doesn't run it. I need to put the full path name, the full directory name. So the current directory, the syntax for that is a dot followed by a slash, then the executable file name. And this time we're in action. It's running my program. So that shows you how simple it is to use, again, on a Mac, an editor of your choice and compile and run the uh, programs in the terminal. So if you don't like a specific IDE or if you're having any problems with installing it, just use any editor that supports C syntax at all and do all the compilation direct at the system prompt or terminal.